he should actually go for a knockout early that should be his goal and if he does not get the knockout he should give enough body shots that weakens hello htv boxing fans it is fight week and here and former ibf lightweight champion richard rc comey takes on puerto rican and former ibf featherweight and wbo and wba super lightweight champion jose the sniper pedraza at the super lightweight division this saturday at the hard rock hotel and casino in tulsa oklahoma main event will begin at approximately 11 p.m eastern on espn event is promoted by top rank in this short video i will discuss the strengths and weaknesses of both fighters my thoughts on the fight the strategies i expect they both should be going with and of course my prediction this is talking before I go on, please don't forget to leave your prediction below in the comment section. Like and share this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if this is your first time joining the channel. I try my best to bring you all the boxing content that you need. So let's get right to it. Let's briefly talk about Richard R.C. Comet. The former IBF lightweight champion is returning to the ring after eight months out. He's coming in with a record of 30 wins and 4 losses, 27 of the wins by way of knockout. That is impressive. Komei got his first title shot in 2016, which he lost against Robert Easter Jr. via a split decision. In 2017, he won the WBC Intercontinental Silver Lightweight title and then went on to fight Alejandro Luna in 2018 for the IBF Eliminator which he eventually won via round 6 knockout. In February of 2019, he successfully won the IBF lightweight title, which had escaped him three years prior against Issa Sheniev. He defended it in June of the same year against Romando Beltran, but went on to lose it to Teofimo Lopez the December of the same year. He's making his debut at 140 pounds after losing his last fight to Vasily Lomachenko of Ukraine last year at the Madison Square Gardens in New York. Um, and they were fighting for the vacant WBO Intercontinental Lightweight title in a 12 round uh, unanimous decision. What are his strengths? Kome is a warrior and is not afraid to take punches or stay active. What I mean by this is that he is always in the ring to fight. You will never find him holding or running. Or he's always staying engaged. Besides um, Teofimo Lopez um, knockout, which I thought it was a fluke. If you look at his record, he's either knocking opponents out or he's going the full rounds. And yes, he just doesn't go to play around. He's always fighting. Now, if you don't believe me, watch his last fight against Lomachenko. Even though he lost, he fought his way throughout 12 rounds. He got knocked down. He got up. He fought. The other thing also is he's got power. Komi has a lot of power and he's a strict puncher. And when he gets the opportunity, he's not shy to use it. Komi can put together several combinations, very voluminous punches. I mean, he throws a lot of punches, often ending with his big right hand, which usually catches opponents off high. Now, if you watch his um, last uh, fight with Lomachenko, he threw over 600 punches. What are his weaknesses? Richard Comey's footwork and movement around the ring will need some improvement against uh, uh, Pedraza. He does admit though in his, uh, his last interview with me that he needs to stay off the ropes and I hope he definitely does that. Let's talk about Pedraza. The sniper as he's known um, is a two-time world champion and is coming in with a record of 29 wins and 4 losses. 14 of the wins by way of knockout. So definitely compared to um, Kome, he's not a big knockout artist. How did Pedraza get here? He lost his IBF Super Featherweight title to Javanta Davis, yes, in January of 2017. He then moved um, up to uh, in weight uh, to claim the WBO lightweight title against Romando Bertrand in August of 2018. He did not waste time to take a shot at the unification title in December of the same year against Ukrainian Vasily Lomachenko, which 
who had then had the WBA um, title. Unfortunately, he fell short against Lomachenko and Lomachenko handed him um, his second um, defeat via unanimous decision. He again moved on to super lightweight and lost to Jose Zapata and uh, Jose Ramirez uh, in September of 2019 and March of 2022 respectively. What are his strengths? He's a strong and a durable fighter. All but one of his losses went to all the full rounds. He is very agile and he adapts easily also in the ring. So that means that if Komei has any tricks, he may adjust easily. Pedreza is more of a technical fighter compared to Komei. He calculates and throws his um, punches and they are oftentimes effective. He is not a voluminous puncher like Komei, but his punches are very effective. Now, because his punches are so effective, oftentimes in the long run, he wins because he's able to get um, 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 punches in. What are his weaknesses? He lacks power. And if you can tell from his knockout rate, he compared to um, Komei, he needs to improve there. He may definitely need to bring some power um, in this um, fight. Now to my thoughts on this fight and strategies I expect the fighters to be going in. Both Komi and Pedraza are at crossroads in their career. One must win to stay competitive and to get a shot at a world title. So we would expect both of them to bring out their best in this. One can comfortably say that this is the biggest fight for each of them in their career. Pedraza is a technical fighter and his abilities supersedes Komei and he will pick um, off lots of points if this um, goes all the way to 10 rounds. Therefore, I expect Komei to command the, the fight in the early rounds with big punches and he should actually go for a knockout early. That should be his goal. And if he does not get the knockout, he should give enough body shots that weakens Pedraza should the, um, should the night get longer. The longer the night gets though, the likely the wind tilts in Pedraza's favor. Now to my prediction. I see these um, boxes even, as I had said earlier. And um, in terms of activity level and their opponent's level, they are, it's a 50-50 chance. And this is a difficult one to predict. And no, it's not because I'm Ghanaian, um, but the fact that they are just both good. And this is the fight of their lives. They are going to put everything on the line um, because of what it means uh, in terms of who loses and who wins. That is why um, it's difficult to predict. But I feel like Pedraza has a slight edge over Komi because he has been at 140 longer than Komi. So I think it will end like this. Komi wins by around 7 or 8 knockout. Or Pedraza wins by decision. And that is my prediction. And this is talking boxing.